again. Guess what, guys? I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. I knew that I would not. Da -da 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 -da. So, guys, if you're wondering why I feel so good, it is Friday night. But it's not any Friday night. It is a Friday night that I'm spending with my girlfriends. We're having a sleepover. Whew. I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I haven't had a sleepover since I was 10. So, this is going to be the bomb.com. So, what a better way than to have a sleepover with my girlfriends and not do a what is she cooking episode. So, I'm going to prepare us some Cajun shrimp pasta. So, I got all the ingredients here. I'm going to whip it up for you guys. And I'm going to show you guys their reaction to it because this is my very own recipe, okay? So, let me tell you what you're going to need for this recipe. You're going to need some cheese. You can find this in the produce area of your Kroger's, Publix. Um, Tuscan cheese. I think I said that right. Tuscan. Um, you're going to need some butter. If you have it, some Slap Your Mama seasoning. You can find that at Walmart. I can't find it at Kroger's, but you definitely can find it at Walmart. Some cayenne pepper. Some black pepper. Some butter, if I haven't said that already. You're going to need some parsley, some fresh parsley. Do not use the one in the bottle. It's not the same. Okay? Not the same. You're going to need some shrimp. So I already went ahead on and peeled this. If you don't know how to peel shrimp, get out the kitchen. Put it real simple. Just peel it off. Okay? So um, I need a tomato, a lemon, and then I'm using linguine pasta. You can use whatever kind of uh, pasta you want. You can use spaghetti noodles. Whatever kind you would like, you can use it. And you're going to also need some half and half. So these are all the things you're going to need. Some oil. I'm sorry, I almost forgot that. These are all the things you're going to need. I'm going to tell you the amount you're going to need. And I'm going to start whipping it up. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to slice and dice your tomato. Only half of it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dice up some of that parsley, the fresh parsley. Now you want to take that slap your mama and red pepper, combine it, and then season the shrimp with it. Now I have one fourth of the butter in the pan and I'm going to go ahead and put the shrimp in there. I also went ahead and squeezed half of the lemon in it so sorry I didn't put that on camera but yes squeeze half of the lemon in this part now you're gonna add one cup of half and half and then you're gonna add in one bag of that Tuscan cheese as you mix it up it's gonna get really really cheesy then you want to go ahead and add in your noodles Gonna mix those noodles in, and you're gonna see it's gonna be a little thick, so you want to go ahead and add some more of that half and half, just like a splash, not too much, just a little splash, and then add in your tomatoes and your parsley and the rest of that seasoning, and then you're gonna go ahead and add your black pepper in as well. Look how colorful that looks, it's beautiful, and you're gonna mix and mix and mix. And this is the final product. Yummy. All right, guys, this is the final product. As you can see, I have already switched with all in our matching PJs. I'll attach a picture of us all in it in the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment below all the recipes you guys want to see me cook this year. It's a new year, guys, so I'm on to bigger and better things. Remember to keep God first in all that you do. And guess what? I'm out. Slumber party time. See y'all later. Bye.